tidings to men. And she conceived by the Holy Ghost. How many for the grace of all this with thee, blessed of our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it thou unto me according to thy word. How many for the grace of all this with thee, blessed of our among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, Amen. and dwelt as our hands. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion may we come to know the glory of his resurrection, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Giuri che a Dio sia un cattivo mondo di gente non sangue che non ha un con loro sorgo, amè. Quei tuoi stai lo sfoti con numero qua che flissi, quali flissi sei in cielo, come flissi in mezzo, puzz. E vede luce, è un tono di verità, è un tono di luce, vede luce, è un tono di luce, è un tono di monte, un sangue, un tono, un tono, un tono, un tono, E ti incoi volatari dei, e te infiniti fica di un tutto mero. Come te vuoti vincita da Dio, stai lo sfoti, quel triste anima mai al cuore che fuga, amè. Sfere in Dio, cuore mai troppo che devo ini, salutare il cuore, amè, e Dio, amè. Gloria a Padre, Figlio e Spirito e Santo, si coderà tu principio e non che sempre, e in secula seculorum. Amen. In tuoi volatari dei, e dei infiniti figli di un tutto meo. Auditor nostro in nome dei domini, qui fece cielo e terra. Confiti o vero potenti, via di Maria, sei vigili, via di Italia, e danni, gloria tua e battisce, e santi sposti, spetto e spavo, io ti vuole Maria, via di omnibus santi, e voti squartes. Tu hai votato in mia scogitazione, hai votato per la mia culpa, la mia culpa, la mia massima culpa. E io prego che la Maria non sia vigile, non mi ha dato mai il marcaggio, non mi ha dato il buon battista, non mi ha dato il vostro spettro, non mi ha dato il buon Maria, non mi ha dato il mio santo di vostro attesto, non mi ha dato il buon Maria, non mi ha dato il nostro. Non si è dato il primo di te, non si è dato il primo di te, non si è dato il primo di te, non si è dato il primo di te. Ah! Confiti o Dio Omnipotenti, Beate Maria, Sente Vigili, Beato Metania, Arcangelo, Beato Ioanni, Battiste, Santi Sepostoli, Spettro e Paolo, Omnibus Santi, Sediti Pate, Qui è Vitali, in Scogitazione, Verbo e Opere. Meo culpa, meo culpa, meo massima culpa. Ed io prego Beata Maria, Sente Vigili, Beato Metania, Arcangelo, Beato Ioanni, Battista, Santo Sepostoli, Spettro e Paolo, Omne Sancto, se te fate, orrare con me, ad ogni un vero nostro. Miseriato Vesci, mi potenti Zeus, e ne mi spettati Zeus, e tu che lo hai vita a me te amato. Amen. In urgenzimo su Sione, mi permissione, per il dono nostro, in cui vado, non mi sono mi potenti, mi teri cus dominus. Amen. Deus, tu converse, mi giudicati, Islas, e ne plebs, tu e ne età, mi torni in te. O se mi non mi sto, mi misericordi al tuo, e salutare il tuo danno. Domine gravi razio me meo, e clamo meo sa te venia, Dominus vobiscum, et un spirito tuo, orde vos. De necessitati vos me, seri prima e Domine, vite humilitate meo med labor ne meo, med dimite omnia peccato meo, a te, Domine, elevavi anima mea, Deus meo sin te confido, non ero pesca. Gloria, Patria, et Filio, et Spiritu, et Santo, sicur da ad principio e non che sempre, et in secula seculorum, Amen. De necessitati bus mei seripi mei, Domine, vite e humilitate mea, me labor le meum, et dimite omnia peccata mea. Chiria deisson, chiria deisson, chiria deisson, Christ, I 
et con spirito tuo. Ordemus. Esto domine propitius plebi tue, et quam tebi facis esse devota, benigno repo per miseratus auxilio. Per dominum nostrum Iesu Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivda regna ad humanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per ramia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Ordemus. A punctis nos Christus domine mentis et corporis defendi periculis, et et asciudente beati gloriosi sempre virgine et eternitrice Maria, con beatu Iosef, beatis apostis tuis retro et Paolo, atque beatis cut mani tuil fili et omnibus sanctis. Salutem nobis tribu e beninus et pacem. Utis troxis et presesasi posset et oribus et obesis, ecclesi tu es secure tibi servi et libitate. Omnipotens et viterne Deus, qui divorum dominadis signore motuorum, omniumque misededis, quos tuus fidi et opere futuorus esse prenoscis, te suffices et oramus, ut proquibus et fundere pregit et crevimus, Vos qui vel crees in seculum et hoc in cari letinem, vel futurum iam supos corpore suscepi, in te scudentibus omnibus sanctis tuis, pietatis tu e clementia omnium delectorum suorum veniam consequantur. Per dominum nostrum, Iesu Christum, finium tuum, qui tecum vivita regna ad unanitati Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio Ezechielis Profete, Ec dici Dominus Deus, anima que pet averi tipsa morietur, filius non potabit iniquitatem patris, et patre non potabit iniquitatem filii, justitia illusti supereum erit, et in pietis in pie erit superem. Se autem in pius esgerit penitentiam avundim bus pecatis suis, que operatus est, et costudi erit omnia precetta mea, et fecerit iudicium in justitiam, vita vivet et non morietur. Omnium nequitatum Deus, quals operatus est non decodabur, in justitia sua quam operatus est vivi. Nunque voluntatis me et es mors in pii, dici Dominus Deus, et non ut confetatur et vis suis et viva, si autem avete edit se justus a justitia sua, et fecerit in equitatem secundum omnes abominationes, quals operarvis solit in pius nunque vivet, omnes justitia e justus, precedat non recodabuntur, in prevaricatione, que prevaricatus est, et in peccatus suo, quod peccavit in ipsis morietur, et isistis, non est aeque via domini. Audite, ergo domus Israel, nunque via me non est aequa, et non magis vie vestre breve sunt, cum enime vete edit se justus a justitia sua, et fecerit in equitatem morietur in eis, in injustitia quam operatus est morietur, et cum aveterit se in più sab in pietate sua, quam operatus est et fecere judicem et justitiam, et se animam suam vivificavit. Considerans enim, et vetense ab omnibus iniquitatibus suis, quas operatus est, vita vivet et non morietur, et dominus omnipotens. Deo gratias. Salvum fac servum tuum Deus meus, sperantem in te, pauribus pecipe domine orazione mea. Domine non secundum peccato nostra, quae fecimus nos, ne quae secundum iniquitatis nostres retribuas nobis. Domine ne me mineris iniquitatum nostrarum antiquarum, cito anticipent nos misericordiae tue, quae a paupres facis humus nimis. A giuva nos Deus salutaris nostre, et fronte gloriam nominis tui domine, Libra nos, et propitius esto peccatis nostis, prote nomen tu. Domino suo viscum, et un spirito tuo, sequenzio sancti vangeli secundum Giovannem. Gloria a ti, Vitomne. In ilo tempore e le dies vestus ire ornum, et descendit Iesus ero sirima, et saltum ire sirimis provati per piscina, que con nominatur hebrei cebat seida, quinque porticus habens. 
in his a chebad, multitudo magra languentium, cecorum, claudorum, aridorum, expectantium, aque motum. Angelus autem domini descendebat secundum tempus in piscinam, et movebat pur aqua. Et qui prior descendisit in piscinam post motionem aque, salmus fiebat et quacunque detinebat pur infirmitate. Erat autem quidam homo hibi, trigenta et octo annos, habent in infirmitate sua. Un convidisit Iesus iacentem, et corovisit quia iam multum tempus habere dicit ei. Vis sanus fieri? Respondet ei languidi, ei languidus. Domine, homine non habeo, ut cum turbatu fluverit aqua, mitat me in piscinam, num venio enium ego, alius altime descendi. Dicit ei Iesus, surge, tole gravatum tuum et ambula. Et statim salus fatus est homo ile, et sustulit gravatum suom et ambulabat. Erat autem sabatum in dio ilo, dicevant ergo iudei filiqui sanatus uerat. Sabatum es, non lice tibi tolere gravatum tuum. Respondit eis, qui me salum fecit inimici dici, tole gravatum tuum et ambula. Interrogaverant ergo eum, qui is est ilio homo qui dici tibi? Tolle crepatum tuum et ambula. Is autum qui salus fluarat effectus nescebat qui sesset. Iesus enim declinabit a turba constituta in bloco. Oster in veriteum Iesus in templo in dixit ili. Ece salus facus es, iam non i peccate, ne deter justi vi aliqui contingat. Aviit ili homo, enunciave iudeis, quia Iesus esset, qui fecit eum sat. Laus tibi in Christi. On this second Friday in Lent, Ember Friday, the lesson is taken again from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. It is the guilty soul that must die, the Lord God says, not for the son the father's punishment, not for the father the son's. Good shall befall the good, evil the evil. It may be the wicked man will repent of all his sinful deeds and learn to keep my commandments and live dutifully and uprightly. If so, he shall live on. Life, not death for him. All his transgressions shall be forgotten, and his uprightness shall bring him life. What pleasure should I find in the death of a sinner, when he might have turned back from his evil ways and found life instead? It may be the innocent man will lose his, innocent, his innocence, and begin to live as foul a life as that other in his wickedness. If so, shall he be allowed to live? No. All his upright life shall be forgotten. A traitor, shall he not die in his treachery, a sinner in his sins? And yet you say, the Lord is inconsiderate in his dealings. Listen, sons of Israel, it is your dealings that are inconsiderate, not mine. The innocent man loses his innocence and lives amiss. It is death ideal to him. He dies for his guilty deeds. The wicked man abandons his wicked ways and learns to live dutifully and uprightly. He wins life by it. He bethinks himself and turns away from his evil habits. There is life, not death, for him, says the Lord the Almighty. And the Holy Gospel is the continuation of that according to St. John. At this time, there was a Jewish feast for which Jesus went up to Jerusalem. There is a pool in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate, called in Hebrew Bethsaida, with five porches, under which a multitude of diseased folk used to lie, the blind, the lame, the disabled, waiting for a disturbance of the water. From time to time, an angel of the Lord came down upon the pool, and the water was stirred up, and the first man who stepped into the pool after the stirring of the water recovered from whatever infirmity it was that oppressed him. There was one man there who had been disabled for 38 years. Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had waited a long time. Hast thou a mind, he asked, to recover thy strength? Sir, said the cripple, I have no one to let me down into the pool when the water is stirred, and while I am on my way, somebody else steps down before me. 
Jesus said to him, Rise up, take up thy bed, and walk. And all at once the man recovered his strength, and took up his bed and walked. That day it was the Sabbath, and the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, The man who gave me back my strength told me himself, Take up thy bed and walk. So they asked him, Who is this man who told thee, Take up thy bed and walk? The cripple who had been healed did not know who it was. Jesus had drawn aside from so crowded a place. But afterwards, when Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, Behold, thou hast recovered thy strength. Do not sin any more, for fear that worse should befall thee. The man went back and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had restored his strength. How merry for the grace the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Amen. for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Beloved uh, Charisma in Christ, uh, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this Ember Friday in Lent. Uh, today on our spiritual pilgrimage, as it were, to the uh, stational churches in Rome, we are at the Church of the Twelve Holy Apostles. Interestingly, uh, this church, one of the earliest built churches in Rome, by which I mean that uh, one of the first purposed uh, built churches, remember that the uh, earlier churches uh, were often converted homes, uh, converted villas. So this uh, church that was originally dedicated uh, to Saints uh, Philip and James uh, was one of the earliest purposefully built, erected churches in Rome. And surrounding this church indeed were various porticos and pools, which is perhaps why we have heard the gospel or why this gospel was chosen for today. But remember that the stational churches in Lent are given to us in order for us to adopt their titular patrons as our patron saints for the day. Today, of course, then, we have before us the 12 Holy Apostles. The dedication of the Church uh, was changed in the 15th century to all the 12. And so we have the example of Peter and Paul, of Philip and James, and all the other Apostles. These to give us inspiration, these to give us encouragement, and indeed to remind us chiefly of the lesson for today, which is about penance. Remember, Fridays in Lent uh, are uh, generally about penance. And indeed, the Stational Church of the Twelve Holy Apostles uh, on each of the uh, Ember Fridays uh, of the year uh, is the Stational Church. Uh, so perhaps there was at one time a particular connection between this Basilica and Acts of Penance. The first lesson we hear from the prophet Ezekiel again, whom we heard from yesterday, again making the same point, that we, my brothers and sisters, are responsible individually ourselves for our sins. This was to counter a notion that uh, existed among the Israelites that uh, one could inherit, as it were, uh, uh, punishment or a guilt of one's ancestors or forefathers. Hence all this talk at the beginning uh, of today's lesson uh, about uh, a father's or a son's punishment. Here the prophet is making it plain to the Israelites that in God's perspective each of them individually themselves are directly responsible for their own actions. What's more he goes on to elucidate very uh, clearly in terms you might say of black and white unequivocal which is unusual to hear today about uh, uh, people talking uh, regarding salvation. But here, God makes it plain, speaking through his prophet, that if you were a wicked person, but converted and changed your ways, and then led an upright life, all your previous sins are forgotten, and you may receive life, you may have life. However, he who was a righteous man, he who was an innocent man, but who loses his righteousness and his innocence, so too does God forget all of that 
in comparison to his sins which he now commits. And if he refuses, of course, to change and alter and revert back from his wicked ways to a life of righteousness, then he earns for himself death, not life. Now, perhaps already in your mind, a little voice is saying, well, it doesn't seem very fair, which is exactly, of course, what the Israelites said. And our Lord was very clear in his response to them, our God. Listen, sons of Israel, it is your dealings that are inconsiderate, not mine. The innocent man loses his innocence and lives amiss. It is death ideal to him. He dies for his guilty deeds. The wicked man abandons his wicked ways and learns to live dutifully and uprightly. He wins life by it. God here is quite plain. He is not inconsiderate at all, but it is we often who are. And how many times, my brothers and sisters, have we heard someone say, if not ourselves, oh, I'm sure God will forgive me this little thing for all the good that I've done elsewise. Clearly that's not how it works. And when you think about it logically, it isn't how it should work. In the sense that we are supposed to be progressing daily, developing and growing daily in holiness, in righteousness, toward God, toward heaven. Every time then we fail, every time we sin, we actually, as it were, are putting ourselves almost back to square one. In fact, God is saying that that is exactly what is happening. that we do not, as it were, uh, store up merit or credit. Now there is, of course, elsewhere consideration and talk about scales of justice, etc., etc. At the end of the day, it's God's uh, decision, none of ours. But all too often, my brothers and sisters, so many of us presume to assume God's judgment about us. And that, my brothers and sisters, is actually a sin in and of itself. It is a form of blasphemy. And this is a good lesson, my brothers and sisters, for us to hear and to remember. And let us strive not to undo the good that we have done by falling into sin. The Gospel today speaks to us, again, perhaps touching slightly on penance, but also speaking to our hope, and indeed to uh, the realisation of God's loving mercy and kindness toward us. This poor chap who has been by the pool of Eseda for 38 years, and incidentally today is the 38th day before Easter, this chap has been waiting by the pool so that when the angel of the Lord comes and stirs the waters and healing is guaranteed, uh, he might be there. But trouble is, as he says, explains to Jesus our Lord, uh, I'm always beaten to the post. There's no one here to help me, there's no one here to carry me, and by the time I've made it, there's always somebody else who's got there first. Then our Lord asks him an important question. Hast thou a mind, he asked, to recover thy strength? Now here we may presuppose that this uh, chap's faith has already been weighed up by Jesus. And indeed, think about it. This chap has waited for 38 years by the pool. How long would you or I have waited Some of us can't bear to sit still for five minutes. How many of us would have waited by a poolside, knowing that every time we attempt to get to the pool, somebody else gets there first? How many of us would have stayed there for 38 years? And yet this man did. And yet this man perhaps had such faith. You see, he was trusting 
He was trusting in whatever the promise was of God that this angel of the Lord would come and stir the waters and guarantee healing. And the analogy there for us, of course, of the Paul is the church. Hast thou a mind, he asked, to recover thy strength? Here, I suppose, our Lord is just checking on the faith of this man. Sir, said the cripple, I have no one to let me down into the pool when the water is stirred. And while I'm on my, on my way, somebody else steps down before me. Jesus said to him, rise up, take up thy bed and walk. That chap's 38-year wait. That chap's persistent faith for 38 years of attempting to be healed in the pool is rewarded and he's healed instantly, just like that. When he gives testimony, as it were, of his faith. Continuing the analogy of the pool for the church, we might also then consider that the angel that bestirs the waters is perhaps like unto our Saviour. And though again, some may ask, forgetting as we heard the other day, God say, my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. Some might ask about the fairness Is it fair that only one person can be healed and only when the angel touches and stirs the waters? But to which we might reply, we might understand that salvation is given to us, each and every one of us, uniquely, individually. We are not all the same. In the sense that each and every one of us, as we know, develops differently. We know that some have a deeper spirituality or a faith than others. All should be striving, of course, to deepen that faith. All should be striving to live righteously. All should be striving to manifest faith. But the way in which we receive faith, the way in which we grow in faith, and the way in which we express and manifest faith is different, is individual, is unique for each and every one of us as indeed is our relationship with God unique. Yes, all may have a relationship with God, but our relationship with God is not going to be unique to us, the individual. This aspect of the angel and the waters and only one person being healed, as it were, at a time, we must not take too literally in our analogy of the church and Jesus as the angel. But remember that grace touches us uniquely and individually and we experience it uniquely and individually. Also though we might remember that we are assured of grace who avail ourselves of the sacraments. And again the analogy we might take further, the Paul clearly representing baptism. But not just baptism, we might also say the Eucharist. Indeed, the Paul is representing the Paschal Mystery. For, of course, 38 days from now, Holy Saturday, when those catechumen who are preparing uh, and uh, converting, conforming their lives to Christ during this Lent will be baptised. And after being baptised, they will then be admitted to Holy Communion. referring, as it were, to our previous analogies in Jessima in the beginning of this season. The seed of the Word of God, we might say, is rather like the sacrament of baptism. In the sacrament of baptism we receive the seed of new life. And in the Eucharist it grows and is nourishes.
Holy Mother Church then seeks to remind us today, those of us who are preparing for baptism and those of us who have received baptism, the lessons she has already given us in this season and just before this season. The grace is something which is a gift from God. The grace is something that we receive uniquely to ourselves in, as individuals. How grace touches us, how it changes and transforms us, is all unique to the particular individual experiencing it. Though grace is generally offered and conferred to all and everyone. purpose of this holy season is of course for us to realize God's grace in our lives to realize his transformative grace tomorrow we will commemorate the transfiguration not the feast but the theme of tomorrow's mass for ember saturday and indeed, Holy Lent is about our own transfiguration that we hope for, that we are promised as we confess in the Creed, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. It is through the Eucharist that we receive that eternal life. It is through baptism that we begin that eternal life. That we begin with the promise of salvation. And so it is that we, my brothers and sisters, during these 40 days and 40 nights, are preparing ourselves for a great mystery. Just as Moses on Mount Sinai fasted 40 days and 40 nights, just as the prophet Ezekiel fasted, Elias, sorry, fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, just as our Lord himself fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, all in preparation for something incredible, for something life-changing, for something through which God is glorified. So should we approach this holy season in like manner, trusting and knowing that after our 40 days of fasting and prayer, we will ourselves be transformed. Our lives will be changed in order to glorify God. And we will be steps nearer to the realisation of our salvation and of our eternity with him, who is God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost. Amen. Conversi ad domi, turn to the Lord. Dominus obiscum et con spirito tuo. Parlemus. Benedicari mame Domino, et noni oblibisci omnes reconducionis eus, et renovabitur sicud aquile juventus tua.
Dumnezeu și cu lor nu. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritul tuo, sus în corda, hagai mursa Dominum, crasi să gavus Domino Deo nostru, dignum medius tum es. Vede dignum medius tum este cum este adutar din nostri bii sempre et ubicu ai crasi să agire Domine Sancte Pate în onipotenze tere Deus. Qui con corralia iunio a vizia compromis, mente me eleva spitudem la giri sa cremia, per Christum Dominum nostrum, per come est hatum tolatum angeli adorandum in azionis tremus potestates, celici arrugue vetute de verate serafim, soci sut azioni concelebram, con cui vos nostris voce sut emiti iubeste peccamur, supplici confessione di gentes. Sanctus, Sanctus, Dominus Deus Sabeot, plenis in ceri et terra gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis. Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis.
Ma bez głowy pojechać do teorii. Terramnya sekula sekulor. Amen. Ademus, perkara pisang itu hari bus mau nanti dah beres rut siang ni pembati. Ademus dije. Kata nas kerja kuih si cai di sanggup cai pun om tuh. Nampaknya dah om tuh pih pulang tas tua. Si kudin cai lo eight in terra. Pada nas pun kerja anda nabi sekali. Di mita nabi sekali kita nas ter. Si kuda nas di mita mesti betul bus nas tis. Adanya lo sin dukar sin tentat siang. Say the word of God. Amen. Amen.
Eche agnus Dei, Eche qui talit peccatum undi. Domine nostrum dignus ut in presso tectum meo, sententum de verbo et sendabitur anima mea. Domine nostrum dignus ut in presso tectum meo, sententum de verbo et sendabitur anima mea. Domine nostrum dignus ut in presso tectum meo, sententum de verbo et sendabitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online are unable, therefore, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. We invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though Thou wert already there, I embrace Thee and unite myself wholly to Thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee. Amen.
tormento ramnes in amicime, evetantur le frosum et erubestant valde velocite. Dominus Fobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tu, Cordemus. Per cuius Domine, operazione misteri, et vizia nostre pugentur, et giuste desideria compleantur. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium Tu, vitecum vivita regna, ante veritati, Spiritu Sancti Deus. Per Romnia Secula Seculorum. Amen. Cordemus. Punta de munia nos quaesmus Domine Divini Sacramenti Mulus Ablatum, et intercedente Beate Virgine de Genetice Matria, cum Beato Iosef, Beatis Apostolis, Suis Petro et Paolo, et quae Beatis Cud Mani Tui Fidi et Omnibus Sanctis, al cum vis nos vete de professa Sisibus ex Beatos, et de fuse Sasibus ex Beatibus. Purifice en nos quaesmus Omnipotente Misericors Deus, Sacramente Quesum Simus, et intercedentibus omnibus sanctis tuis presta, ut hoc tuum sacramentum non sit nobis reatus et penam, sed intercessio salutaris adveniam, sit ab lucio schlerum sit potitudum fragilium, sit contra omnia mundi pericula firmamentum, sit vivorum atque motum orum fidemium remissio omnium delectorum. Per Dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, Filium tuum, videcum tu vita regna de veritatis virtus sancti Deus, per Romnia secula seculorum, Amen. Dominus Obiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, benedicamus Domino, Deo gratias. Et nomen Domini benedictum, et sovnum potusque in se, cura auto torni nostrum, in Domini Domini, qui fece cenum et terram. Menedica vos, Omnipotent Deus. Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Vobiscum, et cum Spiritu Tuo, initium Sancti Vangeli, secundum Giovanni. Gloria a Ti, Dio. In principio, ore verbum, et verbum, et abudeum, et Deus, ere verbum, hoc erat in principio, ac udeum, omni pripsum falcus sunt, in simsum falcus nil, ac falcum est. In ipsum vita erat, in vita erat, lus homine, de lus in tenebris, luce, et tenebra, eum non comprehenderum. Tue tomo vissus ed elco, ne vorrà ci vane, seg veniti testimoni, mu testimoni, beberit du lumen, et omnes pedrum trilum. Non è litri illus, e no testimoni, beberit du lumen, ere lus verbo, e lumen, et omnem, homine, e veniente, mu hum mundum. In mundo verat mulus ripsum falcus est, mulus in non cognoquit, in proprio veriti sum non inceperunt. Qualco data inceperunt em des forestatum filios te fieri quis qui fendi nomine eus. Qui non è sanguinibus ex volentati canus, ex volentati viris, ed ex deonati sunt. Et verbum carru factum est, et habitavit in nobis et vinimus gloria meus gloria in quasi un genete e parte, plano grazia e veritatis. Deo gratias. Many for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. How many for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. How many for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn, then, most gracious Advocate, thy eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. <coughs> o God, who art our refuge and our strength, look down in mercy on thy people who cry to thee. And by the intercession of the glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, and thy blessed apostles, Peter, Paul, and all thy saints, 
Be merciful when we hear our prayers for the conversion of sinners and for the liberty and exaltation of our Holy Mother, the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, yeah. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend Amen. us in the day of battle. Be yes, our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. May the twelve holy apostles pray, pray for us. us. May St. Catherine of Stenning pray, pray for us. St. Wilfred of York pray, pray for us. St. Richard of Chichester pray, pray for us. St. Willibald of Utrecht pray, pray for us. St. Louina of Alfriston pray, pray for us. Our Lady of Walsingham pray, pray for us. Our holy guardian angels pray, pray for us. Our heavenly patron saints pray, pray for us. Our Lady Queen of Heaven, all the angels and saints. Pray for us. 